Have you ever wanted to help somebody and you can't? And you watch them waste away and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't make their choices. You can rescue them from the situation and they just keep going back. And that is what I experienced growing up. I had an aunt who was, well, she's still around, the most beautiful woman that I ever knew. Not only on the outside, but on the inside too. And she married a man who is probably the ugliest person I've ever met. And that is on the inside, because on the outside he thinks he's amazing. And I've watched her wither away and become a shell of who she is. And he has just become this absolute monstrous person. And she just can't leave. And I vowed to myself, I will never allow somebody to do that to me. And you know what happened? I landed up in that same situation. And I knew that I had two choices. I can either leave or I can become like her, which is you're going to die either externally or your soul will die. And I had to make the hardest choice of my life, which was to choose me. Because if I had chosen the other person, I wouldn't be sitting here today. And for me, it has become my life's mission to help other people get away because I have seen how hard it is. I know how hard it is. I've been there myself. And sometimes it's financial restraint. Sometimes it's emotional turmoil. Sometimes it's for the kids. But ultimately, there is no reason good enough than saving yourself first, no matter what your situation is. So if you want to go through another 30, 40, 50 years of pain and grief and agony and lose yourself in the process, that is what you've got going. That is what's ahead of you. So I would like for you to say, am I going to choose me? Take that thought for today and say, am I going to choose me? Or is the other person's life more important than mine? And just give it some thought. Follow me for more.